What's up guys, it's your boy Kareem bringing us a brand new video now today guys and see by the title of the video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a cool screen replacement now You guys seen this on my latest ghost edit as you can see the screen right now I made this to uh, this to this like team Taj a while back. So um, We're gonna be doing this effect. It's really simple. It's really easy You can screen replace on all other different types of cinematics as well, too So not just Fortnite, but if you want to do it for Call of Duty if you want to do it for Apex Legends Whatever you can do. This is a, just a basic screen replacement tutorial. It's really made easy for beginners so if you're you're not really into masking and all that stuff and motion tracking don't worry this video is gonna be super super simple just follow along and i promise it will be easy to follow now the first thing i want you guys to do is to go ahead and have after effects installed and once you have that just have your cinematic ready and let's just go straight into it and how to do this tutorial now all i'm going to simply do is go to uh, file new or just click on import and file and we're going to go ahead and find the cinematic that we're gonna be using for this video so for me i already have it on quick access i'm gonna go ahead and click on the first one's called come on i just named it that just because i didn't know what to name it uh, make sure that your cinematic is at least in 59.94 if it's anything lower than that it's completely fine but when you do decide to slow motion your 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 cinematic it's gonna not look as good but regardless this is a simple screen replacement tutorial for all of you guys that are just watching for that reason now what you guys are going to do is go ahead and grab that bad boy, drag it over where it says new composition here. This is going to be your new composition tab right here. Click on that. And once it does that, we'll have your cinematic within the composition itself. So this is our composition here. Um, and here's our cinematic. So we want to screen replace this whole entire screen. We don't want this here. In fact, we actually want a gameplay be to be playing through there as the camera continues to move back. So um, masking and motion tracking is probably one of the hardest things that you can do in After Effects, um, but there's one simple way of doing it. Now, well, all you're gonna simply do is click on your layer, click on animation, go ahead and click on track in Mocha AE. And once you click on that, if you guys don't have that already, please be sure to have Mocha AE installed within After Effects. Um, if you do not, then make sure you have your up After Effects updated to at least the CC 2018 version. I know it has that for sure. If not, um, go ahead and just download it via third-party software, wherever you can download it somewhere else. Um, but for this, it says stay connected. You can use that if you want to. I just click register later all the time. And then let's go ahead and have our cinematic pop up here, which it should. Um, so at this point, you can just keep everything the same. Just click OK. I don't really mess with that stuff. Um, do we wish to overwrite? Uh, no, we actually will do a different one just because we had another one. So we'll put name, come on, come on, just for, or just put in, come on tutorial for us to get this going. So just click okay. Um, and then once you do that, you will have your cinematic here. Now, as you can see, this is the whole entire cinematic. Um, it's really simple on how to motion track this. You guys won't believe how easy this is going to be to motion track. So what we're going to do, it's really simple and you won't believe how simple this is going to be. Go to the point in time where you kind of want to, where you can see the best of this of the scene. So for me, like for me to be able to mask this as best as possible, it's going to be around here. And the reason why I say that's because I'm able to see exactly where the corners are at for the screen. So then I can make sure that it's actually a well motion track. Like the masking is good at least. The motion tracking uh, Mocha AE will take care of the rest. So you won't have to worry about any jitters or anything like that. Mocha will t do its best to make sure it can detect the screen itself. And that's literally it. So what I want you guys to do is to go ahead and click on this little X button here. You see this is a create X spline uh, layer tool. Click on that. And once you do that, I want you to click the four corners of your screen. So for me, I have my screen here, regular monitor. I want to click on that here. Or you know what? In fact, if you want to, you can click on it up here. Uh, you can do the actual outer layer if you want to. So if you want to do like the outer layer of the monitor itself of the video, then you can do that as well. And once you do that, it's letting it know like, hey, like this is going to be the monitor itself. Um, so don't mess with it. Don't touch it. And here it is. Okay. So this is the monitor itself. And then once you guys can go ahead and click on next is click on the show planner surface, that little S button right here, just chilling, click on that. And what this is going to do is call the planner surface. So this will sh detect what's going on within the monitor or the screen of a phone, whatever your motion tracking or whatever you're trying to track. For me, it's a monitor within the video game. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these four corners and put them to the four corners of the TV screen here or the monitor. So I'm going to go to the corner and you can see like a little thing pops up in the left right there. Um, what that's going to show is like really specifically where the four corners are at. So it zooms in in there. So if you can't tell, it will zoom in for you, which is really nice. I like to do a little bit outside of the of the black. So you can see there's some black right here. Go on the outside so it's, it just kind of makes sure that it's actually motion tracked pretty well. 
Um, so you have a black here. I'm gonna go like right there. And then with this one as well to last one, uh, I'm gonna go a little bit over and just go like over here or something like that. Um, once you do that, that's literally all you do. Um, it's really freaking simple, man. After this, what you're going to do, click on track forwards right here. I used to be where it says track here. Click on the very far right one. Click on that. And pretty much what's going to happen at this point is it's going to track motion track the screen itself for you. Um, so we're just letting it know like, hey, like this is the four points where I want to have the screen replacement. Here's the entire setup, like the whole entire monitor. Go ahead and screen replace it. This is where it's at. And so then now, like the, the software itself, Mo Mocha, I mean, it's going to try its best to uh, go ahead and motion track it for you. So you don't have to sit there frame by frame. It's doing it for you already, which is the really, really, really cool part about it. This should make it easy for you. I'll be back at the end of this uh, once this is done loading frames. Um, so it should do the rest of the whole entire thing. It will take a while if your computer is not as good as mine. But keep in mind, I'm running three softwares right now. So it's not going to be... Um, up to par but your computer might take as long, long as well too so for now go use the restroom go drink some water we'll be right back until this is done okay so now that we did the first step when it comes to tracking this itself so you can see that mocha tried its best um, to track the screen itself so now go back to the certain point in time where you first motion track that you can see there's a green little line right here um, letting you know where you first started the motion track go to the very first frame and what i want you to do is click on the opposite uh track where it's the, the opposite arrow saying track backwards then you can track it before it even happens so if it tends to mess up here don't worry it's completely fine um but it was try it, it's still gonna try its best to track it uh for you at this point out um so click on that as well too and we'll wait again to see the full entire motion track itself all right awesome guys so now that this is all set and rendered out when it comes to the motion tracking itself we're good to go um, all we're gonna do at this point is go and click on export tracking data What that's going to do is let after effects know hey We pretty much motion track this and I need you to have this on the composition itself So go ahead and click on copy the clipboard and I also do this just I also do this just in case just because I'm not 100% like trustworthy when it comes to mocha click on save It doesn't hurt to save it. I just put come on tut for my save of this entire thing i don't want to sit here and do this again and all i'm going to do at this point is going to click on my composition here put Control d what this is going to do is pretty much uh duplicate the layer so once you guys duplicate the layer what i want you guys to do is right click on it and go ahead and click on pre-compose -pre have these three enabled um, if you don't it's gonna definitely throw you off so have it make sure it uh, opens a new composition make sure it's you know the same size of the composition and just make sure it opens a new composition like I mentioned already click OK and once you do that this is the point in time so what we're gonna be doing is go ahead and go to the beginning of this layer um, so with this new comp what we're going to do is replace the footage so we don't want it to be the same footage we want it to be the gaming footage so go ahead and click on file import file and go ahead and put whatever you want to put within the screen so with this composition we want to put the footage that we want to see on the screen so for me i want it to be gameplay so go ahead and go to let's go find some gameplay here um let's go to my downloads i know i have a couple of gameplay in there uh two piece bolt just use that for example i'm gonna drag that over so once i import it go ahead and drag that over to the new composition here and then it doesn't really matter at this point so i have the composition here right so this is gonna be the gameplay within the actual footage um so at this point all i'm gonna do is you can see it's taking over my screen right now i'm going to the very beginning of the video and i'm gonna click on the composition and put Control v once again to paste it and since we're pasting it it should work so now as i go along boom it's motion tracked it's super simple like that um, at that point, that's pretty much it when it comes to motion tracking. You can do this with various different types of motion tracking, uh, but when it comes to gameplay, like that's literally it. Look at that. Check that out. Wow, that's insane. Um, wow, that's really, really cool if you just look at it real quick. Um, so it's going back with it as it goes. Right now, I'm rendering it. So it tries its best to stay stable in the beginning of the camera where it's just, you know, I mean, it's trying its best to like, still defy the depths of fields on the outside um but i mean throughout the whole entire scene man it looks like it just rides it out really nice and i do enjoy that a lot so that's a game of fortnite within fortnite which is which is insane man but if you guys did enjoy this tutorial please leave a like comment down below let me know what else you want to see on my channel obviously this was just a screen replacement tutorial there's a lot of effects that could be added on here to polish this up but i mean if you ask me that is such a cool tutorial there where you get to see 
a Fortnite game within Fortnite itself, which is really cool. Um, obviously, you can do this with different games. Uh, you can do this with, you know, Apex Legends. Call of Duty was really popular with having this. Um, I just decided to make a tutorial on this just because it's the easiest way of motion tracking that I've seen thus far. Um, I've never used Mocha before until this t uh, Team Tosh came out. So um, I had to use it and try it out. And it's just really efficient at how fast and uh, you're able to execute this. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. And it's been your boy Cuddy, guys. And I'll see you later on my next video. Uh, take care, guys. Peace.